Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Reverse Hive Mind. I'm your pal Sutherland, and we got more Lost Judgment for you. So, uh, we are going to uh, first, we're going to check the bulletin board and see if there's any new jobs since we have progressed the story a little bit. So, yes, we're still working on Forbidden Taste. We need to go talk to Cat some more. So, we'll do that. Let's also find our runaway game director. So we'll read the case information for that. My name is Takeshi Okizaki. I work for a certain game development company. The director of our current project ran off right before we could finish the master version, and we simply can't do it without him. We tried to find him, but his experience making and espionage games made him surprisingly hard to find. I'd like to hire you to catch our director, Yagami-san. Sorry to ask this, but would you be willing to meet me at Wet Kitchen on North Isazaki Road? I'll be working from there so we can rendezvous more easily. So, we will accept that case. So, someone needs me to hunt down a video game director? Pretty unusual job. Guess I should hear the client out. And we'll look at the other job. Please investigate a corporate spy. Uh, I'd like to request an investigation about a corporate spy. I work as a writer, and my recent ideas have been getting stolen by a certain other writer. This has been happening for three consecutive works. I've hired a number of detectives to look into this, but they weren't able to find the cul culprit, and this has me troubled. I've heard rumors about you from my acquaintances in Kamurocho. I understand you're a great detective, and I'd like you to find the identity of the corporate spy. I'll be waiting for you in front of the office in Kamurocho. Kazutu Jumonji. Okay. Kazuto Jumanji. I guess he's some kind of author. Dang, Yagamishi. You really made a name for yourself if you're getting a request from Kazuto Jumanji. Hmm? Oh, you know him? Of course. Kazuto Jumanji is the hottest author around. He took the world by storm two years ago, ended up one of the best-selling authors of our time. His first book was a mystery story with a Yakuza protagonist, and later it was adapted into a movie. It's a big hit series now. He's also known for being really productive, publishing two to three new books a month. Nobody can write that fast. Does that mean? That's kind of unbelievably fast, isn't it? Yeah, it almost seems impossible. And he writes in so many different genres. Like, his debut was a hard-boiled mystery, but then the next one was a science fiction high school drama. Okay, those are two ta two great tastes that I would not expect to taste great together. And lately he's been branching off to Moe light novels and or original manga scripts. He's so versatile. Oh. Pretty impressive. And this is the guy who sent me a request. Maybe he felt a connection, because I've worked on cases for editors and authors in Kamurocho before. And who knows, Yagamishi? You just might get a peek in the true mystery of Kazuto Jumonji. Hmm? What do you mean? He's a masked author. Nobody knows his true identity. Hmm. Huh. A masked author, you say? Oh, yes, and he is serious about that mask. He's never shown his face to the media. Apparently, even in his publisher house, only his editor knows who he is. But lots of people think he's actually an established big name author, in part because he definitely doesn't write like a rookie. An established author, eh? But that's just one theory. There are so many theories about his identity. You can read them online. I smell a buzz researcher keyword coming on. I see. That's intriguing. Really looking forward to meeting this masked author now. <laughs> what if he actually wears a literal mask? Yagamishi. Don't forget to tell me if you find out who he really is, Yagamishi. Nope. I don't think I'll be doing that. Confidentiality, you know. Well... Ah, uh, that's a bummer. So his office is in Kamurocho. Not very fitting for a trendy author. Well, remember, his hit series is set in Kamurocho with a Yakuza as the hero. Maybe he's just making it easy to do his research. The realism of his stories is another reason why they're popular. 
Hmm. <clears throat> I see. I w then I wonder if we've already walked past each other. I'm going to see the client now. Or I'm going to see the client now. And even though Yagami said that, we're not going to see the client right now. See how Sugiru is doing. Those bastards might have gotten the jump on us. They won't be so lucky next time. But for now, I should probably take it easy. Yeah, head injuries do that. So, I'm going to head on down. We're going to head over to Wet Kitchen, uh, since that one's in town. And see if we can find the missing game director. Apparently he's making some sort of Splinter Cell game or something that makes him good at espionage, or so his, or so his employee claims. Excuse me, coming through. That was lucky. Do I need health? No, I don't. Cool. <clears throat> I just saw I was running by restaurants, so always a good idea if you can. Did I just not see the gigantic dinosaur going for the burger before? Because that is hilarious. I wonder if I just missed the dinosaur. Okay. So I'm sure our client... Wait, yeah. Our client is probably in here somewhere. My guess is probably on the second floor. Another door. So we'll head up the stairs and look for the client. Looks like they're over here. Eh. As I walk into a chair. Physics, everybody. Ah, oh, crap. Another crash. Better compile. Oh, now what? We've yet to receive a reply about the graphics on level 3. Please inform us of your decision. Uh, clearly they need to tighten up the graphics on level 3. And that's an old reference. But it checks out. It's an older meme, but it checks out. What the hell are you asking me? I'm not the director. What makes you think I have any say in that? Grr. Oh, and what's this rewrite to account for user behavior? Why? <laughs> the game is basically shovelware already at this point. This guy definitely sounds like a coder of some sort. I'm guessing he's o Okazaki san, the client. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Okazaki san? Huh? Ah. Are are you from Babylon? Please don't tell me you tracked me down about the delay. No. Huh? No, I'm Takayuki Yagami, a detective. I came here about a potential job. Oh, whew. You're just a detective. At first I was worried you worked for our publisher. Thought you might have come here to yell at me about how far behind we are in development. So, uh, could you tell me about this job? Oh, yes. Please, take a seat. Alright, let's see what he has to say. This case is called Flight of the Game Creator. So we better hear out Okazaki-san about um, the case request. You work for a game company, right, Okazaki-san? Which one is that? Hi. Yes, I'm a developer for God-tier games. Hmm? A developer? Yes, uh, game companies are generally divided between publishers and developers. Publishers are the ones who handle, handle the physical printings or digital releases of the games. They also do the marketing, event planning, those sorts of things. Developers are ones who focus on the production, coding, writing, sound, testing, all the work inside the game. Sometimes we reach out to publishers with project proposals, while other times the publishers come to us with specific work in mind. I see. I see. Didn't know it was divided like that. Some companies actually have different branches that cover both, but God Tier only develops, since we're such a small outfit. We've got just over a hundred staffers. I'm the publishing manager. It's more or less a mid-level position. By the way, what's the director do with video games? I'm guessing they're in charge of something, right? Hi. Right. The role can vary depending on the place, but ours are in total charge of the projects that are assigned. The 
If I had to boil it all down, the director's business jo biggest job is making sure the game they're creating is fun. <sighs> but instead, our director vanished before the game could be mastered and sent off to the publisher. Now everyone's in a bit of a panic. Yeesh, sounds rough. This is our director, Ryuichi Shinonome. So, this is who I'm supposed to find. So we'll ask him about Shinonome-san. What's the guy like? Shinonome is, well, foremost, he's a genius. Really? Hi. Yes. Without him, the project wouldn't have even happened in the first place. In fact, he's the one who originally pitched the idea to the publisher. The fact that it was greenlit so quickly is rather exceptional. Um. Yeah, that doesn't sound common. Hi. Right. It's not. It, this is the first time it's happened with God here. Not only that, but they gave us quite an impressive budget for an initial project. Now that's uncommon. I see. I see. So this is so this Shinonome is a real whiz, huh? So what's the problem? <sighs> Well, he's a bit moody. Actually, emotionally unstable might be more accurate. That's a red flag in a developer. So that's why he took off. Hi. Yes. This isn't even close to the first time it's happened either. I've had to go talk him into coming back each time. But this time he got really serious about it. Apparently he made a spy game a long time ago and he used what he learned during his research to disappear. He bugged the office before he left to keep tabs on us, and we think he even snuck out in disguise to keep us from noticing. Wow, that's pretty involved, but why go through all that effort to ghost a job? Shinonomi-san is basically running on single-digit HP at this point. Wow, he's just going straight for the how-do-you-do, fellow gamers. But with all the scheduling and task management, let alone his never-ending meetings with the publisher. He works until midnight almost every day and spends the night at the office most of the time. <sighs> I honestly can't blame him for wanting to get away for that. Wow. So we'll ask about his location. Do you have any idea on where he may have run off to? Hi. Not specifically, but he does seem to be in the city still. A couple different people have told me they've seen him around town. Huh. I wonder why he's ditched work but hasn't left the city outright yet. Well, there's a chance he's feeling conflicted about not delivering the game. After all, the concept was his in the first place. Honestly, he reminds me most of a, of a runaway kid. They might storm out of the house, but they're still too, too attached to go very far. Hmm. Well, if he's really that attached, we might be able to convince him to come back. By the way, where was he seen last? Around Sakura River Street. That was about 10 to 15 minutes ago, too, so he still might be there. I would have checked for myself if not for all the work. No problem, I get it. I'll go check around there. Okazaki-san, thank god I found you. We've got a situation. Shinanogawa-san, what is it? The Babylon producer, Kinagawa. He stormed the office over the delayed master. Huh? What? I'm serious, it's real bad. He was screaming, where's Shinonome? Over and over and over. It looked like he might pop a gasket at any second. Oh no, I, uh, I'll see you later, Yagami-san. Please, find the Shinonome-san as soon as you can. Game development sure sounds rough. Well, people that I've talked to in the industry that I, I know, yeah, that sounds like it sucks, especially around crunch. Some places are better than others, but yeah. You know, they can work 60, 70, 80 hour weeks sometimes. Or you're practically sleeping at the office. Like, thank God I only work 60-ish hours a week. <laughs> and, that's not, and that's not including doing this uh, YouTubing.
Oh, here we go. Great. Excuse you, sir. Just for that, I'm gonna eat you. Oh, no. Hell no. Here we go. Nice little haymaker. Really, guys? All right, so it looks like that park is where we want to go. So we'll cross the busy street, we'll head over to the Sakura River, and uh, drop by that park. Looks like there's a couple side cases over here. down here. Go check out the river. And I think we can stop and talk to one of the cats too while we're on our way over. Oh, and there's a popo. So I am going to run over to popo real quick and uh, just refill our rice balls and, and the sandwiches. Uh, let's see. So, yep, salmon on onigiri. Sometimes you just gotta slam 10 rice balls. <laughs> Please don't take that out of context. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna add another cat treat. Yeah, we'll buy some of the taiyaki. Uh, let's see, pine candy. I oh, already have all the cup noodle. And buy some yakisoba. Uh, let's see. Not sure what this will do, but yeah, I'll buy it. Why not? And vitamin water. Okay, so we bought all that. So we're going to head over to the cat, I think. What's up, kitty cat? Hey, you. It's been a while. It's a name, huh? Uh, this is Champ. Champ! Wanna play for a little bit? So we are going to offer Champ some of that fresh tuna cat food we just bought. Oh, he's a happy camper. Really putting away, aren't they? Putting it away there, aren't you? Makes me wonder how that tastes. So that's a happy cat. Those guys are talking about the Yokohama 99 getting raided. These guys are going to want to fight me. And we'll go ahead and do an EX surrender. Make him tap out. Yep. Okay. And stay down. Easy. And we got a thousand yen out of it. Oh, I see what's happening here. If I remember right, Shinonomi san was last seen or last reported seen around here. Let's see if he's still around. So we'll check out this. I'm pretty sure I see him. Thick glasses. Unkempt bed head, long thin eyes, mole on the side of his nose, thick eyebrow. What the? Uh huh? Uh. Nope, not him. So similar, but not quite a match. So we'll keep looking. But that guy did look too close. Yeah, yep, no glasses. I mean, never mind, he could ditch the glasses, but you know, whatever. Hey. Oh, this looks like him. That looks like a fake beard. Yeah, that's a fake ass beard. Hmm. 
The hair's different from the guy in the pictures, but that's easy to change with a wig. Guess I shouldn't factor that into the profile. Suspicious. Bristly face. No, that's a full grown beard. But that could just be a fake. Yeah, it looks like it's fake. Guess I shouldn't factor that in the profile. This guy, he matches Shinonami-san's profile, besides the hair. Disguising yourself as one of the homeless, Shinonami-san? Gotta say, not a bad strategy. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Shinonami-san from God Tier Games? Um... Mm -hmm. Huh? Who are you? It's Yagami. I'm Yagami, a detective. Okazaki-san from your company, he asked me to find you. <sighs> yep, I'm Shinonome, alright. I knew it. Please. Apparently the project is falling apart without you. Would you head back to the office? Buy me some food first? What? Huh? You want food? Can't work on an empty stomach. Huh. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Oh, but not today. Spot me tomorrow. That guy's hooking me up today. Hmm? Who is? That guy. What? Damn it! Huh? Wait, don't tell me. That was Shinonoma-san. So who are you? <laughs> it's a fake mole. Mmm, I sure love raisins. Ugh. Oh hell, a disguise? Oh, pop in, lol. Damn it, he played me. And now he's gone. Hmm. Well, this sucks. Wonder if I can figure out where he's going. I should check and observe if he left any evidence of the scene. So, saying find a clue on Shinome. No, so apparently we can't leave right now. So it must be in here somewhere. So we'll start looking around. Laptop. Is that yours? Nope. It's that guy. It's the one who said he'd feed me. Guess he must have forgot it. Oh, so it's Shinonomis. He's fiddling with it all the time, too. Sometimes he starts screaming at it, real pissed. Stuff like, damn bugs. So he fled his job, but wanted to keep up with the game? Huh. Sounds like he might still be at least a bit invested in its progress. This laptop reeks of his cigarettes. When it comes to smells, I just know who to call. Okay. Yep, we know who to call. Where is our doggo friend? All right, let's go. Who's oh, who's boy. a good boy? I believe in you, buddy. Woof. Rampo, can you track Shinonome with this? Arf. Arf, arf. All right, let's see where Rampo way, goes. Huh? Doing great. So, we'll go see where this Rampo way, huh? is going to take us. We'll see where he goes. Gonna be a while, grab a Snickers. I have a feeling they're gonna be running halfway across town. 
But it's okay, because he's a good boy. I'm glad that Rampo actually showed up. I was worried that um, he might only somewhat, sometimes show up. But I mean, I guess it's for a quest, so that makes sense. Doing great. Okay. Continue to moderately jog our asses down the street here across the map. I will say this is a new, unique uh, mechanic that I didn't have in the last game. This way, huh? And it is something that I have actually seen before in in real life. Doing uh, great with bloodhounds. Woof. Mm hmm. Huh? What's with this dog? Oh, fool me once, shame on you. Oh, crap! You found me. You fool me once. You fool, fool me once. You, you can't fool me again. You're not getting away for this time, especially not with this guy with me. Arf! Gah. Shinonome-san, please go back to work. Don't you have a responsibility as the director? No way! That exploitative workplace will be the death of me. No way. Really? That seems like a stretch. It's no stretch. Long periods of overtime can lead to death by overworking. That is true, and Japan actually does have a problem with that. I've already done 80 hours of it this month. If I work any more, I'm gonna drop. Hmm? 80 hours? Seriously? And that doesn't even include the unpaid OT I've worked. Don't underestimate the gaming industry. Huh. Wow. I was fine putting up with it at first since the project was my idea, but then that monstrous producer started breathing down my neck. First they raised the bar for quality over and over without ever pushing the deadlines back, Next thing they do, they scream at me to get everything done on time. Even my staff has started snapping at me. What are you gonna do? Hurry up and decide, all day long. They have no idea how much I'm shielding them from the producer from hell. Excuse me. Yeah, this producer from hell, who is that exactly? He works for our publisher, Babylon. He's the one who controls all our funding, and he's one terrifying guy. I. I think he's in the Yakuza. I'm scared he's gonna rub me out or something. Hold on. I don't know if the Yaza Yakuza would rub you out over a game. Whatever, I'm not going back. You can't make me. Well, this isn't going well. Now what do I do? Yeah, he needs to talk it out with his client. Forcing him to go back won't work. He'll just bail again later. Looks like we all just have to talk it out. Excuse me. Sorry, she didn't know I saw him, but can you hold on for a second? Huh? Hello? Hello? Eh. She didn't know I saw him. Please come back. Okazaki-san. What are you going to do if we don't get the master finished? All our hard work, almost a year's worth, out the window. Huh? Shut up. Working for that company is nightmare mode. How the hell do you expect me to make that deadline? I couldn't meet it if I cheated in mainline energy drinks until we were done. My stomach's a wreck, man. I've been finding blood in my stool. Well, that's not good. And I've been sleeping under my desk for months. It's murder on my back. I know, but still, you need to come back. Kinugawa-san came to the office. I've never seen a producer that angry. Kinugawa-san's at the office? Sounds like that's a producer from hell. Actually, no. He stormed out after saying something like, Wait till I get my hands on that. Well, the last word wasn't a nice one. Ah, finally gotcha, Shinonome. Oh, that was a big dude. Uh, uh, Kinigawa-san? Huh? Huh? That's him? <coughs> you rat bastard, trying to skip out on your end of the deal, huh? Or do you call this bullshit development? Uh, I, I'm not... Then what the fuck are you doing out here? The fuck's your fan base supposed to do, huh? Eep! You wanna see what a game over's like in real life, huh? 
You'll see it while you sink to the bottom of Tokyo Bay. Yeah! Shinome, either you come back to work or you die right on that spot there. Time to pick. Welcome to your last life, bub. No continues after this. Eep. Jeez, no wonder he's the producer from hell. This would be considered abuse of power in a Yakuza family, let alone in the game industry. I... You... You what? I... I quit. Huh? What? I said I quit. Forget that exploitative bullcrap. I'll never go back there. I've been out of life since the moment I started working with you. Oh. Ah! Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. You call yourself a visionary? Well, visualize this. Your own fucking corpse. You're telling me you want to disappoint all those people who fucking love your games? Huh? This guy's very profane. And you know what? I'm sick of this thug stick of yours. You're scary enough. You should come with an age restriction. You. Why, you garbage ass code monkey? You fucking talk to me that way? It's really game over now. I have a feeling we're gonna have to jump in and kick this guy's ass. Yeah! Ah! Oh crap, this isn't just an abusive wor workplace. This is really hey. bad. Hey, cut it out. You can't hurt him. Aren't you aware of the Abusive Authority Prevention Act? Huh? The fuck are you talking about? Out of my way, dipshit, or I'll kill your ass too. Oh, come on. Where's this Yakuza talk coming from? Aren't you supposed to work for a legitimate business? The fuck you mean, Yakuza? I've been a civvy since I crawled out of the womb. Okay, gross, but calm down. Rah! I'll crush your fucking skull! What the? Yagami-san, run! When he gets this mad, he can't think straight. He's really huh. gonna kill you. What? Die! Right, let's let's beat the hell out of this guy. Let's go. Let's play by Okay, seriously, come on, talk. Okay, I can't grapple him. Good to know. Let's go ahead and do the old traffic cut. Okay, that's cool. I mean, I was sidestepping, but yeah, you know, that's fine. What even are controller inputs? Okay. Nice. Do that little reversal at the end. Whoa. You're strong as hell. Way more of a secret boss than a trash mob. No way. Okay, dude. You really better cool it now. You think your company's gonna be okay with you assaulting a contracted employee? Yeah, my bad. The blood just ran to my head, Zal. I forgot they warned me if I popped off like that again, they'd can my ass. Think we could all forget about this? Huh. Uh, but, um, Yagami-san, what should we do about him? Would he, like, soil himself and pass out? Oh, no. Still not going back. Excuse me. Okazaki-san, Kinagawa-san. I think maybe you three just need to talk it out. Talk it out. Nah, that ain't happening. I know what I gotta do. What? Huh? She don't know me. 
Uh, hey, what? I had a feeling he was gonna apologize. <laughs> huh? I'm begging you, you gotta come back. Without you, this game's totally fucked. It needs you. We need you. Kinigawa-san? I know I've bitten your head off a bunch, but I also know you really are a fucking genius. That's why I bent over backwards to get this project green lit. The sheer amount of ass I kissed to get the execs to sign off on it. So Shinonome, don't you ever forget, fans all across Japan, nah, the whole ass world, they're dying waiting for your next game. I should know, I'm one of them. I can't wait to play this mf in game. God, this guy's profane as hell. And I have a mouth like a sailor, especially when I'm at work, jeez. Try not to get demonetized here, YouTube. <sighs> Kinagawa-san. I understand, but I'm not working unpaid overtime anymore, got it? Yeah, yeah, I can live with that. Whew, that really seemed like it was gonna go south, but it all worked out. Shinonome, don't you worry about genius little noggin of, of yours about unpaid OT. <laughs> but you are gonna master that game on time, you hear me? Uh, I'll, uh, I'll get it done. Yagami-san, thank you so much. I think we might actually be okay now. Yep. That's good. By the way, when's the release date? Oh, um, actually, it's in a few days. Huh? Huh? That's all? Are you really gonna be okay? Well, it's a VR game developed on a pre-existing engine for specific headset headsets at events in VR playrooms and whatnot. Unlike other releases, there's no need to produce physical media or upload the ROM to digital storefronts. Actually, you can keep working on it right up to the release date, so long as you push the day one patch in time. Although that's not an ideal scenario. Oh. Oh, a VR game. Those can be pretty fun. Please, do give it a try when it's released. I'll let you know when it's live. <laughs> cool, looking forward to it. Okazaki-san, bad news. Uh-oh. Shinanagawa-san, what is it this time? Shinanami-san's thrown the whole team into high gear. He said he's redoing the fourth boss entirely from scratch. Huh? Uh, what? We just finished that. If we have to respec and redo all the programming and then debug, we're not going to make it. <laughs> I know, but Shimonami-san won't budge. He said it's about the quality. Again? What did Kinagawa-san have to say about it? So long as the master's done in time, you do know, you do what Shinonome tells you. I'll handle the execs at Babylon. <sighs> I don't know what's worse anymore. Stubborn Shinonome or inspired Shinonome? And now that he's got the producer from his hell in his corner, nobody can stop him. Excuse me. Uh, are you really gonna be okay? Deep breath. Yagami-san, it appears I'm about to enter the final phase of battle. Yep. All right, well, good luck with the release. Here I go. Working in the game industry seems rough. But I guess uh, it sounds like it could be fun, too. Ooh, we got an extract recipe. Die hard for that. Okay. So that was a, a, a side case. So... Um, pretty good one at that. It was actually pretty interesting. Chasing him around. We got to use Aranpo, the uh, wonder detective dog. Um, let's see. Yeah, I do need to get some food. So I'll go buy a burger from Wet, Wet Kitchen here to top off my health. Uh, let's do the special burger with an iced 
Oh, we don't need that. Okay. Do the special burger. Starving. Pretty tasty. Thanks. Arigatougozaimashita. Okay. We'll head outside. Back out on the street. And I believe we have one one more side case to do down by the Sakura River, and then we got another one down in Kamurocho. And we'll uh, start knocking those out in the next video. Take care, everybody. See you then. Make sure to like and subscribe and keep uh, commenting on the channel. Please help up our engagement because it really helps the channel out with the algorithm. All right, guys, take care.